Hello everyone and welcome back to Rimworld and of course to the town of Medusa's Raft. Where in this episode the very first thing we're going to do is find out who McFly really is. McFly, you are in actual fact Ghost Woods. There we go, Ghost Woods rather, plural. There we go. Welcome to the Colony Ghost Woods. Long may you survive and not be brutally slain by your son in your sleep. Uh, as Ghost Woods has a shield, we're going to get you to equip a steel spear. And whilst you're doing that, we are going to mobilize the troops. Because we have a siege that we desperately need to deal with. Okay, so Ghost Woods, where are you? You're heading out from your room. Very well. You go on ahead. Now... Let's see, we've got loads of plasteel. Good, good, good. Now then, where are you going? We, ooh, they may end up down here. We might be in a fight a little bit earlier than I expected. Honestly, uh, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but it would be an awkward thing, I suppose. Okay, well, we're waiting for everyone to uh, join up. There they go. Okay. Ooh, what are you doing? Ooh. Where are you going? Oh, no, are they going to go and use this? Ah, oh, damn it, I knew I should have destroyed it. Okay, well, given that then... Dark Avac, you're moving out. Uh, you're going with Veronicorn. Where is Ghostwoods? Has Ghostwoods equipped himself? Good. Ghostwoods, you're now joining the rest of the group. Uh, let's let them break away. We will also send along Nebula Bomb and Miss Mini. You guys get up there too. Now the rest of you, we're going to uh, set a position down here, I think. Now, how far out can this reach? This is a good old range. We could have you around here, perhaps? Do drop. And likewise, Balthazar, an exceptional range. Balthazar could probably still hit from all the way over here. Uh, that might be a bit much to hope for, but we'll we'll see. I mean, you can definitely... Mm, there's a small chance. I, I, I think it's going to be unlikely, but uh, we'll... we'll Hold on to that possibility. Let's get everyone else down there. Sleepy Joe, you're going to be integral in this. Integral. No, no, no. You guys all need to go up there. Thank you. Go, go, go. Now, them splitting up is fantastic for us. Now, Dewdrop, you're going to be in a bit of a risky position. Uh, and how close can you hit? Now, we need you to be about there, I think, Balthazar. We'll allow Dewdrop to go through. Sleepy Joe, you move into position. It's going to be a little bit hard because I'm going to be managing a lot of people here at different places. So, we're going to need to proceed with a bit slower time. Okay, there we go. Dewdrop, can you hit anyone from there? If they come closer, you can, yes. You can just about hit someone. Move over and... Oh, they're taking a shot at Dewdrop. Right, okay, well, I definitely want you to go for them. Dewdrop, I suppose, could move over there. Hmm. Dan, you've actually got a reasonable range as well. Okay, so... Uh, good move. That was unintended, but they have now used up a weapon that they only had one charge for. I find this fantastically good. Okay, what are they equipped with? You are equipped with an LMG, and you are equipped with a silver mace. Neither of these things particularly good for us. Let's get you over there. Dark Avax, start the approach. Uh, Veronica, start the approach. Actually, you guys come at them from a different direction, please. There we go. Get into position if you can, please. Now, how badly are they wounded? Pride, you are... You've had your right arm flat out shot off. Amazing. You have been shot a couple of times by an assault rifle, but I would prefer Pride be taken out, honestly. Jaradan, also focus on Pride. Let's get rid of their sniper, please. That is the uh, highest priority for me right now. All right, well, while they're making their way out, let's keep this going. Is Pride down? Ah, oh, glorious. All of you are amazing. Go for Jacob, then. Next up. All right, let's get into position. You can't hit yet. Almost. Okay, well, given that, then, we're going to have you guys move into the tree line, and you two are going to move up. Come on. All right. One we want to take out first, the one with the gun. Go for it. Well done. How are things going down here? Jacob is badly wounded. Taking quite a few shots, actually. And Turk is down. Glorious. Go for Narnis, then. Uh, Naris, rather. Okay, you're going to be able to pop that shield fairly quickly, I imagine. 
Uh, right, Sleepy Joe, do you feel like moving up? I think you do. I think so. Ooh, that was potentially quite bad. Have they broken? No, they're assaulting. Okay. Um, right, you two, get in there. Go for Naris. You two, you can pull back at this point. At uh, this stage, I'd like you to move up. I would like you to move up. You can be behind. Balthazar, you can just take a shot at whoever you can. Eh, ooh, Lisa, don't be there. Thank you. How's this going? Uh, you're doing a good job over there. Right finger's been cut off. Who's on the arm? Uh, they're, they're goners. We don't have to worry about that. Well done. And they're already broken. Have you killed him? No, no, you've got him locked in combat. I prove. If you can get down here, guys, you can uh, take them out. But I'm not going to send the rest of the people in. Uh, Kong has loose treatment. Dark Ava got a bit of a bit of a blow. Got a bruise on his left arm. It's fine. It, it is perfectly fine. The only wound in that entire engagement was Dark Ava got a bruise. And that was only because I decided, ah, who cares? Let's just throw you in there. You, you clearly want to fight. I'm not going to tell you that you can't. And rep. And... Okay, well, uh... You can grab some norms there, I suppose. We've got a lot of stuff ready for us to collect. Uh, hmm. Fast walker, and you're a pessimist now. Nah, sorry, pessimist. Let, let's just... Look, on the plus side, life is really as bad as you always suspected. All those people calling you a pessimist? Nah, they were wrong. You were completely correct. Life is crap. As evidenced by the fact that you were beaten to death whilst you were unconscious. Mind you, you did attack the colony. So, you, you kind of mean, you know, it was a self-fulfilling prophecy, really. I mean, come on. You brought this on yourself. Uh, let's claim all of these. Can we now claim all of these? I would super like it if we could. Yes, we can, it appears. There we are. And I can reinstall this. Okay. Uninstall and bring it home. Oh, my lord. Finally, we can do that. Uh, decommission all of that, though. Okay, that was actually a really, really good engagement. My goodness. Dark Alex is chilling out. Uh, Lisa, could you clean this room for me? Thank you. I have put that back into the homeroom now. So, yes, we are actually getting it, getting it sorted. <laughs> I'm a massive derp. I do apologize. All right, then. How are things across the rest of the colony? Let's have a look at our materials. We've got 49 components. That is great. We've got a reasonable amount of steel. What we lack at this point is actually the plasteel. Still, I'd like people to probably prioritize bringing things in. Ooh, there we are. Finished our research on super soil. Grow things faster with this mycelium network prototype, which adds some nutrients to the soil. Uh, okay, well, the next thing I want to do then is start going a little further. Now, mega soil. Grow things very fast with the help of this bioengineered mycelium network, which actively fertilizes your plants. Uh, we could grab that one, and I think I would like to. It's going to cost a ridiculous amount of time to do. But before we have a look at that, let's have a look. Where, where would that be? So... We've got uh, production, maybe? Is it under production? It's crazy mycelium stuff. Gardening tools, maybe it's in there. Garden soil, place soil, reclaim soil. No, 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 no. Where is super soil? This is what I need. Miscellaneous does not appear to be here. Floors, would it be under? Ah, oh, there we go. So, I mean, I need one. Ooh, I need... I need stuff that I need to make medicine with to make this stuff. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look at you. Uh, it doesn't give me any real, real indication of how it works. But all right, we're gonna gonna set it up in here as a test. Let's get all of that done. It, it is costly: three steel, three cloth, and uh, a little bit of uh, medicine to get that working. But I'm all right with checking this out, honestly. I'm very, very keenly interested in how that works. Uh, yeah, cooked cannibalism, is it? Yeah, bad times, bad, bad times. I know, I know, it sucks. Um, on the plus side, we could make some regular meals, I suppose. Uh, let's see, cook lavish meal, no. How about you cook some simple, well, you've got loads of simple meals, I guess. Yeah, keep keep the regular simple meals done for now, if you could. Because um, everyone can eat those, ultimately. Oop, pardon me. 
I do apologize. Uh, all right, is everything being brought in or not? Oh, dear. Wow. Jaradan, luggage, nebula bomb, Sleepy Joe, and Rego has gotten the flu. What the dickens? Well, that just sucks enormously, I've got to be honest. Enormous suckicity to this. Enormous suckicity. We suck Avak, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, okay, we'll start, start heaping medicine on everyone. There are a lot of people who need their flu shots. Damn it. But on the plus side, we've now got oodles of power. Mad animal. A local hare, a rat has gone mad. Really? We still haven't brought that in? That's worth like, oh my goodness. Alright, Miss Minnie, could you please kill the mad rat? There we go, that's good enough, thank you. Oh, so many people have got the flu. That does suck. But we've got ridiculous amounts of medicine, so honestly, we're good. We're completely okay. It is gonna dig into our neutronamine or whatever it's called, but it's not terrible. How about luggage? You carry those back, eh? That's a bit of a better idea, don't you think? Uh, also, you could carry back some of the steel. Let's get as much of this back as we can. Um, Jaradan, major break risk. Uh, could you bring back... Uh, no, bring back the, the steel, please. Veronicorn, you're just super stressed all the time. Super stressed. What is it? Insulted twice. Well, who dared to insult... Oh, uh... Wow. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to defend Dark Havoc. Dark Havoc is a scoundrel. Through and through. However, he's not typically an unnecessary scoundrel. He's wicked, but the wicked usually lies in brutal efficiency. So what did he think he would gain from insulting you? Were you, were you perhaps down on your luck, a little bit defeated? So he was just trying to make you angry so he could convert that energy of yours into something productive? Like a lean, mean killing machine? Only ideally not himself. I mean, maybe himself. In which case, he gets more food. Oh, maybe that was it. No, surely not. There's loads of food in there. Unless Veronicorn looks especially delicious. Now, I wouldn't put it past Dark Avec. It would be a bit of a jerk thing to do, but yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Right, okay. Could we get more things hauled in, please? What are you doing? Uh, you're resting. No, you're not. Uh, could we get all of these things hauled? We really do need them. All brought in for great justice. Uh, could, oh, we oh, you won't ever do hauling. That's fair enough then. Uh, Ghostwoods, get over there. Need more stuff brought in, please now. Okay, well, things are going reasonably well. Uh, I feel fairly happy. Oh, right, right, right. We've got some of this now. So, let's have a look at this. Uh, doesn't tell me growth rate plus. Mm, does it tell me at all, anywhere, how much of a growth rate this is? Super soil, walk speed 72, fertilization 200%. That's better than all of this then. Expensive, but it's better. Oh, that makes me wonder. What's the other soil going to be like? Also, now to get out to the little lovely little uh, area out there, they have to walk over spongy mycelium network. I mean, it's not quite grass, but you know what? It could be worse. I think it would probably feel just as nice. As, as long as the, the mycelium network is being specially selected so it doesn't, like, you know, I don't know, poof out spore clouds or anything. Because that would probably, yeah, uh, it would probably get a little bit, a little bit ick. Let's be honest. No one likes breathing in spore clouds. Unless they do. In which case, I'm not going to judge you. That's fine. Uh, plenty of animals out there norming. We super badly need some kibble made, though. Um, we lack the... Lack the uh, proper food for them, though. Um, okay, well, what we should probably do with the animals. Let's have a look. We've got livestock, which are currently allowed all over these places. Yo can go, Yoko can go everywhere. I'm actually going to say... Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to make a new zone. Uh, so we're going to go to animals, manage areas, new animal area. And it's going to be... Oh, sorry. No, that was a new area. Let's get rid of you. Bye-bye. And this one's going to be um, carnivore. Not obligate, but it's good enough. Right, so now we need to set up the carnivore zone. It'll basically be livestock with a few extra bits. 
Namely, all of the bits in there. They are not allowed to eat this. They can just go straight to the bodies if they want to. Then that is fine by me. But, generally speaking, well, I suppose I should make it omnivore, really. Uh, they can also go in there. But uh, this is mostly for the huskies, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, so there we go. Oops, that was in slightly the wrong place. So, there we are. So that will give them access to where they need to be. Now, for the time being, that's what they're going to be assigned to. Eventually, however, I will want them to... Well, maybe I should rename that one specifically Husky, since I'm actually setting up four Huskies. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, Huskies. Maybe I should end up with like one zone for each type of animal we have, uh, depending on, on what, what they can do. So, Loneliness, Larry... There we are. Uh, we should also probably have the grizzly bear, because I believe... Yeah, the grizzly bear can haul as well. Hmm. Well, given that, then, maybe I should have them all working on Yoko's area. But I really like the fact that Yoko specifically can only sleep in that room, but... No, Yoko, Yoko can, can, can keep with that one. I, I actually really, really do like that one. But I will rename this one, I think, again to uh, um, Haulers. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense. So we've only got a couple that actually belong to this zone. However, this zone is going to be limited to the, um, the actual colony itself. I'm not going to allow you in there because that will just lead to... Terrible shenanigans for me. Uh, you can, I guess, eat the meals, which is kind of annoying, but you can also go everywhere else, uh, except for our farms. You can eat the, the prepared meals, it's just not uh, the stuff that we're preparing them from. Uh, questioning my logic there. I, I am questioning my logic. We're going to stick with it anyway. Uh, you can't go in the bedrooms, there's no point. There's no real reason for you to be in the bedrooms. That being said, there's probably no real reason for you to be in most of these rooms. Um, but yeah, you're you're basically restricted to the colony and any of the workshops because these are places where things get produced. Actually, having access to the kitchen is necessary because that workshop does produce quite a lot of hauling tasks, namely when it cuts people up. And uh, also actually animals because you produce the leather as well. So there we go. You've now got access to most of these rooms. I'll also give you access through here for now. But uh, mostly, I just want you to have an access to this little area here so that you can also haul things in here when as, when it's necessary. So there we go. Now our bears are wandering around. They can eat, eat people. This is a great time for them. All the goodness. Okay, and all of that set up. So this grass should now grow really fast, which is glorious. Uh, okay, major break risk. Ambelina, super unhappy. What's wrong, Ambelina? Let's have a look at you. Uh, Psychite withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be hard. That's going to be super duper hard. In fact, that's going to be so hard, I need to give Ambelina a very specific group. Take care of your joy at all times. In fact, regular joy. You can, you can have four-hour breaks where you can do whatever you want, but mostly just regular joy and sleeping. It's all I want from Amberlina, just just enforced joy some of the time. So there we go. I don't think we need these running at this point. So uh, let's turn those off, make sure they're off at the very least. There we go. We should be good now we've hooked up a geotherm. So there we are. Everything's been brought in uh, as and where we can. There's a couple more people down there that I wouldn't mind you uh, bringing in for us. Uh, Dark Havoc, do you haul that body somewhere? Um, reserved by Veronicon. Oh, very well. Dark Ava, can you hold this knife instead? That'll do. Uh, Veronicon is taking care of that. Miss Minnie. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere now. Wow. Okay, guys. I'm super happy with this. Dewdrop, could you deal with that? Uninstall the mortar. There we are. Now can you haul the mortar? You can't haul the mortar. Miss Minnie, can you... Oh, you'll never do hauling. Damn it. Luggage. Luggage. Go and live up to your name, please. It is necessary. All right, so things are moving along. We've at least got a load. What, what's our guy looking at? He's viewing art. Which one is it? Uh, this cover resembles a solitary carpenter. There is a nightmare, a uh, nightingale, a nightmare, in the upper part of the image, and the square structure of the image almost conflicts with its sen sensual style. Oh, okay. 
Fair enough, Dark Alec. Uh, right, all right then. Uh, next, we could continue work down here, but for the time being, fairly happy with the way things are there. I'm a little concerned about all of our animals basically devouring the everything. That is, a, frankly, a big issue. Quite a uh, hulking great big issue that we need to resolve. Hmm. Well... I mean, this is going to grow super fast now. Perhaps what I should do is restrict the animal's area to this zone. But it's kind of the whole point why I've got it there. Uh, they can go up here, so... Uh, they're just going to continue eating all of my stuff, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take livestock off this. Sorry, livestock. You're just going to have to go hungry for a while. I know it sucks. It sucks massively. But... Super needed done. Uh, could we get... Yeah, Kibble is waiting on Haygrass, so... Hopefully th this just grows fast enough that they can manage it, but we'll see. We'll have to see. I could, of course, set up a new area outside for the production of Haygrass and, and like uh, similar goods. We could definitely do that. We've got some items up there. Things are being hauled in, though, which is good. Time for us to start mining out a little bit more plasteel because we're going to need it for all of the great parts that we're going to be attaching to our colonists indeed we are turkey 2 has lost its mind again i'm starting to wonder if maybe turkey 2 should be put out of its misery um yeah turkey 2 we've tried to give you a long and fruitful life but it, it, it's time i'm afraid someone will visit in a little bit and deal with that lisa keeping the place nice and clean i'm very happy with this Combat supplier. Trade ship is passing nearby. They are known as Tukas Securities. They are a combat supplier. Very, very well. Okay, well, let's have a quick look then. Who is our greatest negotiator? That would be actually be Ghostwood. So, Ghostwood, where are you? Let's go and have a chat with this security firm. You're also fairly slow. Maybe I need to get you in this way. All right. So, we can sell some water shells. We don't want to. We don't want to sell our components either. Artificial clavicle, simple prosthetic arm. I could sell that. Not going to. Simple prosthetic leg. I could buy one for a lot of money. Uh, Painkiller rib replacement. AI chip. AI chip. Through special chemicals and electric shocks, this little ship is able to completely restore it. It uses consciousness and mobility. It requires brain surgery research before installing. Let's actually have a look at it. Um, yeah, it, it just gives you full brain restoration, so goodbye being senile. Uh, armor, yeah, we're getting rid of that already. There's actually a, a, a large amount of things that we're just not, not going to do anything with. Uh, okay, well, we're going to make 38. Fine, that, that's that's actually okay. We'll get it out of, out of our uh, storage, I suppose, at the very least. Oh, of course, we could set things up in here, because right now, a lot of this is simply being um, stored where it shouldn't be. Let's uh, copy these settings across all of them. There we go. Nice and easy. J, 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 and J. There we are. So those should be moved out soon. Okay, well this room now needs to be uh, smartened up, but we also do need to dig into this wall a bit to uh, get out all of the useful steel that we can. I'm going to go ahead and continue to make these rooms beautiful, and I will bring you back when there's something interesting to report. Well, that would class as interesting, yes. Yes, it would. Oh my lord, whilst Nebula Bomb is in there as well. Get out of there right now! However, that works exactly as we wanted it to. In that it is now the place where all the... Ah, oh, run! Run, Ambelina! Flee! Flee, Ambelina! No! No, this is bad times! No! Ah, uh, well, that is rather wretched. Nebula bombs, step into the door, start shooting the bad guys. Uh, preferably, don't shoot Ambelina, though. That would suck. Pretty bad, actually. That's right, another... No, time for you to pull back. Right, Dark have a get over here. Um, get in there. Actually, Nebula Bomb pull all the way back. Uh, Nebula Bomb pull all the way back over there. Uh, go, 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 go. Let the doors close. There we are. Good. Good, good, good. Now we need the people with very high rate of fire weapons in behind. And one brave soul to stick their face in. Go forth, Dark Alec. That's right. Now pull back. 
because this door should be held open. Uh, or, of course, alternatively, it might not be. Either way, this should work, and as long as we can kill these things fast enough, we'll be able to save Amberly and I hope. Dark Avaki, how are you doing? Uh, you're fine. You are fine. Just keep it up, everyone. Ghost was taking some damage as well. Well done. This is the way you need to clean out a hive. Get a nice little choke point going. Uh, Dark Avaki's taken a lot of damage so far. I'm a little bit concerned. 68% uh, blood loss. Ooh, Ghost, did you just get shot? No, no, mostly being cut by uh, death spiders. Okay, we need someone to rush in, get Ambelina out. Run. There's death spiders still in there. Go, go, go. Move quickly. Ah, oh, damn it, it's going to spot you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, p pull back. Pull back, if you can. Unleash all of the death. Well done. It's going to be bad. Well done. Is it coming for you? Can you? No, you're not going to get a chance. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it all. No, my dogs! My dags! Get in then. Everyone in. Enough worrying. Just get everyone who's got a gun into this room. Go, go, go. Sleepy Joe. Go. Uh, over there, please. Uh, right, let's get the rest of you into position. Right, okay. He's hanging back. Nebula Bomb. Rescue Ambelina. Go. This is your mission. Yes! We have rescued Ambelina. All is well. Now we just need these scallywags to come over here. No, Yoko. Ah, Yoko is tired of everyone playing playing so cautiously. Yoko's like, no, let's go kill things. My lord, so boring. I, I can't understand where you're coming from. I just like people not to die is the thing. It's generally my, my goal in all of this, no deaths. Uh, let's go. There you are. You're in position. Good, good, good. Let's get you down. Can we get you down here? Sleepy girl. Good. Everyone else as well, please. Wow, they can go over those things? Oh, well, that's annoying. Please stop shooting Dark Havoc. Kind of sucks. Gotta be honest with you. Go, go, go. Step up. Everyone into position, please. Well, this is much less organized than I would have liked. I really did hope that those would block movement, but I guess it'll work. Uh, Ghostwoods, you just hold position there if you can. As long as you can. You're doing a great job, Ghostwoods. Or guy. Everyone else, shoot all of the bullets! Not at Ghostwoods, though. Damn it. Please stop shooting all of the bullets at Ghostwoods. Is that guy been having words with you, my lord? Uh, right, could you please get up there? You as well. There's only two of these that we needed. Ghostwoods, you are off duty. Go and rest. My goodness. Let's have a look at you. 162% health, uh, blood loss. Not great. Dark Avac, 89%. No immediate danger. Only like losing most of your blood. But that's fine. Please kill that. Thank goodness we didn't have any uh, guests though at the time. That could have been awkward. How much health is there? Could you... Could you uh, melee this for me? Thank you. There we go. Uh, go ahead, Dark Avak, if you could melee that and you as well, please. There we are. Right, okay, Dark Avak, you are now off to... Oh, someone else has got it. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess you're going there then. Everyone else who is here, you are now off duty. Go and cheat, treat people if you can, please. Nebula Bomb, also off duty. Ah, okay, well, that was a pretty exciting uh, thing going on there. Oh, wow, so much smoke leaf. My lord. The game trying to tell me something. I think it may be. It's like, yeah, you're going to need this. Fair enough. We probably do. But that is going to be it for this episode. My goodness. And we're not out of the woods yet. There's actually still quite a lot we're going to need to uh, sort out. Ooh, you're still alive. Not super keen on that. Let's uh, just have Miss Minnie take that out. But uh, our people are resting and will hopefully be kept alive. Ghostwood is losing a lot of blood there, luggage. Can we have a look at Ghostwood? Yeah, Ghostwood's not doing so well. Balthazar, could you please treat Ghostwood? I am going to micromanage people getting treated for the next little while, and I'll bring you back when hopefully everyone is healthy again and we can press on with the redesign of our guest room. Death trap that it may be. But until then, and as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.